Meanwhile, developing right now, wildfires have burned through more than half a million acres in the Texas Panhandle and western Oklahoma. The governor of Texas now issuing a disaster declaration for 60 counties. Several towns had to be ordered to evacuate, and a nuclear weapons plant was forced to temporarily shut down operations last night due to the wildfires. ABC's Mola Lengi is live in Amarillo, Texas, with the very latest. Mola. Well, hey, David. Yeah, we're about 25 miles north of Amarillo. You can see behind me uh, authorities shutting down uh, the roads leading any further north, uh, anywhere towards the fires. Fires had been moving southwards towards us, uh, but, you know, this morning we watched as firefighters uh, were putting out spot fires and brush fires running along uh, the prairies here that you see behind me, these vast, vast prairies. Uh, a lot of spot fires that had been here have now been uh, extinguished. Still, fires continue to burn. They continue to move. Uh, authorities telling us that the largest fire, the Smokehouse Creek Fire, one of several wildfires burning throughout the panhandle of Texas, remains 0% contained. Uh, because of just how quickly these fires have been moving yesterday, uh, fire officials had been prioritizing evacuations. They were prioritizing people's safety. Uh, but today, they're going to really be able to really focus in and hone in on fighting the fires. Conditions are a bit more favorable today, much less windy today than it was yesterday. Uh, so fire crews really hoping to extinguish as much as possible before those winds pick back up, possibly as early as tomorrow. So very much a race against time here. And officials tell us, of course, uh, it'll likely be a few days before they can actually enter into a lot of these burn zones and begin to assess all of the damage. David, they say that's a process they hope to begin today.